Okay, you ready? Come on. Go get it. Bring it here. We'll bring it here. Don't maul it to death. Good girl. Good girl. Let me take it. Well, get off it so I can get it. Here. All right. Ready? Now catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. You didn't catch that. It was a bad throw. It's my fault. I know. Bring it here. Bring it here. One more. One more. Okay. Follow it. Follow it. Whoa. Whoa. Eh, eh, oh. oh, whoa. Bring it here. Oh, let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get a better throw. See if we can get a better throw. I'm gonna get a better throw. Oh, that one didn't go. Catch it. Oh, run it down. Run it down. Did you get it? Bring it here. It's dead. Bring it here. We gotta get a good catch. Here, catch that one. Catch that one. Oh, good catch, Tazaru. Good catch. Yes. That's my old dog, Taz, right there. Now, Taz is. You're too close to me. I can't. They can't see you. Taz is Australian. Yes, she is. Your Australian cattle dog, uh, which some people call Blue Heater. Now that over there is one of my chickens, <laughs> wandering in through the picture to see what's going on. Now uh, Taz is about three years old now, and some of you have been following my videos. You know that I've had another dog uh, with me for many years, old Wally. And uh, he got old, and he got cataracts in both eyes to where he couldn't see. And uh, then he started losing weight, and he got real sick. And this last month broke my heart, but I had to put him to sleep finally because he was just suffering too much. So that's the hazards of owning dogs is that generally we outlive the dogs. And uh, so now it's just me and Taz and a couple of chickens. There was a chicken wandering off that way. I don't know where the other one is, but I got a couple of hens uh, wandering around. I had six hens, and uh, I lost four over winter. It was such a dang cold winter that I lost four hens. And uh, so I'm going to have to build probably an insulated chicken coop before this next winter. I'm going to lose these two. These two survived. Uh, they're a little tougher, but I did lose four hens. And uh, I've just got them free-ranging now. Chick, 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 buck, 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 buck. See if I can get her to come over. I've just got them free ranging for now. And they wander all over the place, clear out to the road. I'm sure people think it's funny because my chickens will be out there next to the road. They wander all over the place just to have a good old time. And I always check their craws, and they find all kinds of seeds and bugs and everything like that. So I really don't have to feed them all that much. I do feed them a little grain just to keep them around the house. If I didn't feed them, then they'd probably wander off to the neighbors. But uh, I do feed them uh, some grain. Uh, once a day I feed them a little bit of grain. And uh, that's about it for animals right now. There's my other old hen. She's down there getting her some food. Chick, 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 buck, 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 buck. And what's funny is the hens will hang out with the dogs. They go in this backyard and they take over the dog coop. Now Taz doesn't like it. She won't go in there while the hens are in there. What are you doing, old hen? I'll see if we can get her. She's a pretty thing. Chick, 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 buck, 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 buck. Come here, old hen. She's getting her some food. She just laid an egg somewhere. Yes, I love you too. I know you're jealous of the, the chickens, aren't you, Taz? <laughs> All right. On the homestead, we do have some horses there back there in the field. I share that property with my brother, about 15 acres, and uh, we got a couple of horses back there. But I don't have any other animals. And uh, I'm kind of thinking I might want to get some more animals this year. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get another dog to go with Taz or not. She is... Uh, she hasn't been fixed, so I might decide to get a, a male dog or just have her uh, meet up with a handsome stranger and see if I can get some puppies out of her. Come here, Taz. Show everybody how pretty you are. She is a good-looking dog. So anyway, uh, I just thought I'd share that. Uh, since some of you do follow my videos and you know about my animals and how I feel about my animals, because uh, they're, they're my best friends. They're my uh, hiking buddies and my fishing buddies. And, uh, you know, we get real close to our dogs. They become like our kids. So uh, when I lost Wally this year, it was really hard on me. I was, you know, I think I, I grieved more over that animal than I have some uh, losing some family members, you know, because it, it was really hard for me. Uh, but at the same time, 
when it, he lived a good life, 12 years is pretty good for a dog, uh, for a border collie. And, uh, you know, you, you appreciate the time that you have with them. Anyway, I just thought I would share that with you and show off Taz's frisbee catching skills. You guys have a great and sunny day. It is a beautiful sunny day here, so I'm going to get some chores done around my place. Have a great day, everybody.